Have you ever wondered about the first women that took to the bicycle? Hi, and welcome to A Roosevelt's Ride. Today we are going to be looking at a few of the impressive women in history who accomplished amazing things while riding their bikes. Are you ready to get started? Let's take a look. First up, we're going to talk about Katherine Kitty Knox. When Kitty Knox faced racial tension, she showed the world that women could be brave and powerful. Her story of overcoming adversity inspired others to join her in fighting for what they believed in, whether it's cycling or something else. In the 1890s, many women were not riding bikes. However, this amazing seamstress caused many ripples and got people started riding their bikes. She saved money from her job as a seamstress and bought a bicycle. In 1893, she was accepted into the League of American Wheelmen. It was not long in the group that she began to get discriminated against. Through all the hard times, she continued to race and ride. She was known for her unique attire and being one of the first ladies to adapt men's attire while riding. She played a major role in women not having to ride with those skirts flapping in the wind. Next, we're going to talk about Annie Londonderry Kupczewski. She is accredited with being the first woman to bike around the world. It is said that she took on a bet from a bar and took off from her three children as a dutiful housewife and started biking around the world. She took uh, her first paycheck while riding from the London Dairy Spring Watering Company of New Hampshire. And that is how she continued all around the world, getting paid to do so. She left from Boston on a 42 pound bike in full skirts. She set out to prove to the world that women could accomplish anything they set their minds to and were as mentally strong as men. It is called into question in a few different instances how true the tall tales of her stories are. However, she was an amazing storyteller and has some very interesting, fun stories from her time of biking around the world. She was a vocal advocate for women's cycling and rights. And yet another amazing woman who started wearing menswear so that we did not have to be wearing those crazy skirts. Next up is Maria Ward. She wrote a book, Bicycling for Ladies, so that all women could feel competent in the skills of riding the bike, the mechanics of the bikes, and how to dress while riding the bike. A quote from her says, I hold any woman who is able to use a needle or scissors can use other tools equally as well. I find this particularly inspiring. Well said, Maria Ward. Next, we're going to go back in time just a little bit to the 1850s and talk about Amelia Bloomer. She is famous for the invention that started the rational dress. The entire outfit consisted of a short jacket and skirt that extended below the knee with loose trousers that gathered in at the ankles. These trousers eventually got nicknamed bloomers and this entire outfit became known as the bloomer costume and it inspired the new cycling costumes that started to take shape in the 1890s. Amelia didn't want to take full claim for this new outfit. However, she is the one that it is always accredited to. Amelia was also great friends with Susan B. Anthony, and we can't not be talking about women and bikes and not talk about her great quote. Her quote is, let me tell you what I think of bicycling. I think it has done more to emancipate women than anything else in the world. It gives women a feeling of freedom and self-reliance. I stand and rejoice every time I see a woman ride by on the wheel. The picture of free, untrampled womanhood. It is a well said and a very inspiring quote. 
And of course, we have to give one more mention to Anna, Annie Oakley. She would ride her bike without holding any of the handlebars and still shoot bullseyes. What a lady. There have been so many women that have taken to their bicycles and changed history. This is just a short look into what some women have done for this year's Women in History Month. Make sure to like and subscribe to Roosevelt's Ride so that you can see some more of this girl's fun adventures with her husband and family. We'll see you on the trail.